What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossMertech.com and this is another tutorial in beginner PHP programming. In our last class I showed you guys how to create a simple HTML form. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to retrieve the data from the form and how to use the super global variable underscore post to alter the data. Now uh, before we get started I want to show you guys something over here this is our post method right so since we use this post method all the data that gets uh, submitted gets stored in this super global variable called underscore post right so down here I'm gonna first start off by typing in this less than symbol question mark PHP then end it with a question mark then greater than symbol here now in between this here I'm gonna use a if statement right I want to then type in open and close parentheses hit space open curly brace hit enter a few times then close in curly brace right the reason I uh, added this if statement here because we want to check if our inputs are active or not to do that we're gonna type in this is set code right then we're gonna use this open and close parentheses again then in between this open and close parentheses we're going to type in the super global variable called underscore post now again that super global variable underscore post is where all our input and all the data that gets submitted from a form is stored so uh, and and we can uh, specify the different uh, values by the names see here we we named the different inputs I called the, the name input name and I named the date input date. We're going to use these names to specify the different values. So in between this open and close parentheses here, I'm going to type in our super global variable. First, we're going to use this dollar symbol, underscore, capital P-O-S-T, right? Open and close brackets. All right. And in between this open and close brackets, I'm going to type in our input name, whatever our input name is. I'm going to use the first one. Our first one I named name, right? because the user is going to enter a name. So in between this open and close bracket, I'm going to type in between two single quotes, name. Now we're going to test whether or not our second input is active or not. And we called our second input date. So what I'm going to do is here, I want to hit space after this parentheses here. I'm going to use these two at symbols, right? Because we're going to end this. And I'm going to type in is set again open and close parentheses right so in between this open and close parentheses we're gonna use our second uh, value which is date so we're gonna use this dollar symbol underscore capital P O S T that's where uh, again this is a super global variable and this is where all the value is stored from the input open and close bracket right and in between this open and close bracket we're gonna type in our second input name which is date right so it, it has to be in between two single quotes so let's type in date here now this is our last input we only had two inputs you, you could have as many inputs so now let's hit enter right I'm gonna hit tab so if both of these user inputs are active meaning if the user inputs data in both of these inputs then we're gonna do something I wanted to transfer the value of these inputs into other variables that we're gonna create right now so I'm gonna create the first variable I'm gonna name it name since our first input is a name so let's name it name right and make it equal to our super global variable right dollar sign underscore capital P O S T the open and close brackets and end it with a semicolon because this is a statement right so we're gonna type in our first one which is name right again we gotta use the single quotes so now we can just copy this here and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna paste it right under here and our second variable we're gonna call date because their second input uh, is gonna ask for a date so let's just call this one date we can name it whatever we want doesn't make a difference so and I'm gonna type in date in between this uh, single quote here I'm gonna type in date in between these two single quotes so d-a-t-e right so now we transferred the value over to our new variables. Our first variable we called name and we transferred over the value of this super global variable that holds the user input for this first input, which we named name, right? So whenever the user inputs something in that name input, it gets sent to our super global variable uh, and then uh, it gets sent to this part, the name part. So. I transferred over that name part to our variable which we named name so now our variable name has the user input for name 
Now our second uh, variable here we named date, right? And we transferred over the super global variable underscore post, the value of the user input because the user input gets stored in this uh, super global variable. Right? And again, our second name is date, right? So whatever the user types in a date, it is gonna get sent to the super global variable, right? And uh, the date, and we're gonna transfer over to our variable date now. So now we have these two variables here. Now that we transferred over the variable, we can actually echo this out on this. So let's type in echo and type in our first variable name, which is name. Let's hit enter, then type in a second echo and our second variable, which is named date, right? So again, from the top, we added this if statement and we added this is set code to see if our inputs are active or not, meaning if the user enters something in those inputs. So if both those inputs have uh, characters or anything entered inside them, then the program will uh, transfer over the value of our super global variables that have the uh, user data into the, our variables that we created down here. So now down here, we're echoing back the value of, of the variables, right? So let's hit save. Let's open up our browser and let's hit, so actually we gotta enter something here. Let's enter a name. I'm gonna enter my name, R-A-S-I-M, and let's enter a date. Let's enter 9-24-13. It's a random date that I entered. I'm gonna hit submit. And we got a error message. Let's see what happened. Right, I know what happened. We forgot to add, well, I forgot to add the semicolon after this echo statement here, because it is a statement. So let's hit save again. Let's hit refresh. Let's hit continue. So down here, as you can see, it printed back our, our values. So the first one I entered was Rasim, and the second one I entered was 9-24-13. So that's pretty cool, right? All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. In this video, I showed you guys how to use the super global variable underscore post, right? Because underscore post stores our user input, right? I showed you guys how to transfer that user input into other variables that we can use to like echo things out on the screen. In my next class, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some more cool stuff with the user info. So again, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.